just real quick here, I've got a, a neat little victim system. It's got a few files on it. Anybody who's seen one of our latest demos, this is just kind of a standard demo that we show. We've got some traditional files on it. So there's some interesting ways that this actually works. So one of the things I'll do is I'll just copy the file over. This was one of the first samples, example of the file that actually came out. Bear with me while I run this little thing here. There's a couple of different things that we're going to watch actually while this happens. One of the things is that when I execute this file, you're going to see it actually disappear from the desktop. So give me a second here. Okay, so when we know it's running, it's actually going to disappear from the desktop, and there you saw it actually disappear. Now, as I said before, it does both file level and disk level, so it's actually doing some things in the background. And already you can see here that the PDF that I opened up earlier is already encrypted and changed on the file side. You know, even a Word document is essentially now basically scrambled and essentially can't be opened. So it's already doing damage on the system. And what's different about this is it's not going to give you kind of the traditional file level pop-up. You actually don't get that until the system reboots. But what you can start seeing it doing, if you look at your network, you're going to start seeing it chew through your entire network and attempt to make connections to different machines. And it's going to do this uh, all through the entire network. So you're going to start to see different machines begin to be probed for access. So it's going to start to move laterally, laterally through your environment. So for example, this one right down here at the bottom, trying to connect to dot 16 with a NetBIOS connection. It's sending it's sending its you know it's sending a, a command out, but it's not getting acknowledgement back because my environment's fairly well locked down. But if you just run netstat again very quickly here in a second, you'll see as it moves from dot 16, it'll start moving up and it just basically kind of goes up through your entire network as it starts to probe for other systems. And while that takes a second to come up, a couple of other changes that you'll see in your system very quickly. If you look at your task scheduler, you'll start to see some kind of random looking tasks that are going to be that are going to be in your system. So basically you can see that as I ran the, the malware on this system uh, and I look at properties, what it's going to actually try to do after a while here is it's going to shut down and reboot the system and it's going to force it to do that. So no, no matter what your system is running, it's going to force it, and that's when you're going to get those screenshots that look like the, you know, the kind of the more traditional Petya, Misha kind of screenshot where it gives you your unique key and it's a DOS prompt kind of thing. But basically, I mean, at this point, like from what you can see here on this system even, um, you know, this system is essentially compromised and being hosed. You can see, you know, it's now moved up to dot .46. It's moving through, you know, attempting to move through the environment. So that's what it looks like on an unprotected system. So the next thing I want to do right now is basically show you, you know, what it's going to do on a silent system. And, I, and what you can see here is that the file actually was sent and okay. attempted to execute on this system. And this is, uh, so, so basically this system is patched for the MS1710 vulnerability, however, the executable still propagated over to this system, moving laterally in the environment, and yet Silence was able to stop this from happening. Again, if I were to grab, you know, the original sample from the, the file share and, you know, drop it over here, and even if we just change it to an EXE, it doesn't matter, try to execute it, boom, Silence takes it out. And then most important thing is, is that this system is actually version 1320, over 18 months old, taking out this brand new sample today. So while all these other vendors are scrambling, trying to get signature updates out to their customers, Silence customers have been protected already for nearly two years from today's example.